welcome back to my channel. A big hi as well to all the new subscribers and a big welcome. So starting off today, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. You know the deal. Just going to use this to prime my eyelids and get them ready for a shadow. I like to blend the concealer in with an eyeshadow brush first or even a concealer brush. And then once it's all blended in nicely, I just like to go over it with my beauty blender. And then picking up the Tartlet In Bloom palette, I'm taking the shade Charmer. I'm just going to use that to set all the concealer. For the transition shade today, I'm just going to pick up this peachy orange shade. And just using a fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to run that through my crease. Just to give a nice colour, warm up the eye a little bit and also provide a base for the other colours to blend out on top of. And then picking up the Pinky Mob shade Rebel, I'm just going to run that over the top of the transition shade just to deepen up the crease a little bit more. To add the smokiness into the eye, I'm picking up Licorice from the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. What a bloody mouthful. Anyway, this is hands down my favourite black. I started off using like a pencil brush and then it just wasn't doing the trick. So I went over the top of it with a short shader brush and then just blended out the black with um, a fluffy blending brush. So just packing it on with the... Pencil brush, packing on some more with a short shader brush, and then blending it all out. So the key is just to pack on, blend out, pack on, and blend out until you get the smoky effect you're after. To smoke out the eyes a little more, I'm taking my Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner in the black shade. I'm just going to tight line my eyes. And then I also added a half wing, but I did do that off camera using my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner. For primer, I'm using the Too Faced Primed and Poreless just to make sure my skin is looking matte and not too oily. Because it was a smoky eye look, I did want to keep the skin nice and matte and just bronze. I didn't want too much illumination. So using my EX1 foundation, the shade F200, I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender just to pat that onto the skin and blend it all out. To conceal and highlight the face, I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Lord knows if I'll ever use another concealer. I did use the Born This Way for a little bit and I did like it, but I don't know, I always reach for this one. And then for cream contour, taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal little pen stick. This is honestly amazing. I had a feeling I get hooked on it and I definitely did. So just going to bronze up the outer edges of my face, making sure my face is nice and bronze, but also highlighted. So just patting out the concealer first using a damp beauty blender. And then once all the concealer is patted out and blended in, I'll go in and blend out all the cream contour as well. The best thing about this cream contour is how easily it blends out and also how bronze it looks compared to muddy. I wasn't too sure at first if it would leave my skin looking muddy because of how dark it was, but honestly the brown tone is absolutely perfect. To bake under my eyes today, I'm going to use the Australis Banana Powder just to change it up a little bit. Normally I use this just to set using a um, like powder brush, but I'm actually going to use my Beauty Blender just to bake. And then taking my Model Coat Invisible Matte Press Powder, I'm just going to set the rest of my face. To add some colour back into the face, I'm just going to take the bronze shimmer shade from the Kylie Bible and the BH Cosmetics collaboration. I know I wanted to keep the face looking matte, but I just felt like a little bit of shimmer wouldn't hurt nobody. And then just to clean up everything, I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and using some RCMA powder, just clean up that contour. I'm also going to run the same bronze shimmer shade down my nose, just to contour my nose a little bit and go over where I put the cream contour before. And then just blend it out with my Beauty Blender, making sure it's nice and smooth. And then brushing off that bake as well. 
For highlight, taking the shade Vermeer from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Honestly, the most beautiful highlight shade ever. I don't know if any highlighter will ever compare, even though it's an eyeshadow. I just seriously, Anastasia Beverly Hills, please put this into a pressed palette. And then I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I'm just going to do my brows. I left a lot more footage in this one of my brows because I know I tend to cut the footage a little bit and not show as much. But I just wanted to show you guys how I got my brows. They are a little bit unruly, so bear with me as I try and tame them. To finish the glam, taking my Red Cherry Lashes in Wispy, of course. So beautiful. And then I'm going to run the shade Licorice from the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette again. The original black shade I used to create the smoky on the lid. I'm just going to run that with a pencil brush on my lower lash line. And then using the shade Rebel from the Tartlet in Bloom Palette, I'm just going to smoke out that black under the eye just to soften it a little bit and blend it all in. Picking up the shade Primavera from the Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm just going to spray a little shader brush. Actually, I think it's a lip brush, believe it or not. Anyway, I'm just going to use that to highlight my inner corner. And then I'm also going to take my um, liner again, the black one I used, the Smashbox one. And I'm just going to run that on my um, lower rim just to make sure it's all smoked out and my eyes are looking black and beautiful. And then using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, I'm just going to add some drama to my bottom lashes. I didn't bother with my top lashes because I did use eyeliner. It kind of blended in my natural lashes with my fake eyelashes. And then for lips, I'm taking my Kylie Cosmetics Candy K Liner. I'm just going to line my lips and then fill them in completely, making sure they're looking nice and matte and plump. And then to add more colour, I'm going to take the matching Candy K Liquid Lipstick. This formula is seriously amazing. I know I go on about how I don't love liquid lipsticks, but Kylie seriously created such a beautiful formula and they smell like cupcakes and I just want to eat it. And seriously, shut up and take my money and give me all of them, please. And then I'm just going to clean up the lower lip using an eyeliner brush and some concealer. Of course, had to add some gloss using the Dose of Colors Bellini. I just pop this in the center of my lip just to give a kind of ombre effect. I find ombre effects with sparkly lip glosses and matte lipsticks always make the lips look so juicy. I'm just going to blend that in with my finger, making sure it looks so good. To set everything, taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and giving my face a good spray. And then we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love a smoky eye and nude lip combo. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.